enjoy p to play. And in this case, it was very nice because uh, uh, 16 years ago we made the first the Hunters movie, uh, the first Hunters movie, and and. Uh, uh, just see the f first film and see me, me myself driving away from the northern part, and you don't know what happens to him. So it's been a very nice play to, uh, and, uh, to, to play with your ima imagination what happens to the character. <laughs> was your process of building to who he is? Rather soon I, I felt uh, uh, for the character's way to, in this film. The first film it was a, a, a guy who was born up in the north and been working as a policeman in, in Stockholm and really liked to go back to his roots, to the calmness and, and of course it didn't went that way. It was a, a, a terrible mistake and then anyway. So for this film we sh I changed the direction. He, he doesn't want to go back, absolutely doesn't want to go back to the, most of all to the f f because of the memories that happens with him and his brothers in the first film. One of the scenes that stood out for me in particular was the, the scene where he's shooting the stag. The script said uh, that uh, the, that Tost and Peter Stormer's characters should shoot it, but me and Peter worked a lot with the script and uh, to get this balance. Uh, it starts uh, before the big battle. They, they, they are like two polar bears. I mean, so uh, so I think it was Peter said, "Why don't you shoot the the, the elk?" And uh, 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 it feel, felt uh, because, as an audience, I, I hope you fully. I hope that you feel that when he take takes him out for the hunt, anything can happen. You know, so it. I think it's a good uh, thing that Eric is shooting the elk. Uh, of course, he doesn't want to do it. It's not so interesting in it, but but he do it, and with a straight shot in the head. So so yeah. One of the uh, redeeming things about Eric is his relentlessness. Yeah. He, he's, he's always in this pursuit to, mm. to find out who the killer is, exactly. even though the odds are against him. It, was that attractive for you for, for playing the role? Yeah, it's also the problem for Eric. I, I think uh, 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 in one way he, he is crazy in the, always to get the truth. We have a special word for it. Uh, in Sweden, if it hasn't, if it, he has not been a policeman, he has been a, a big trouble for the police. I think you know because uh, he's always um, he's very stubborn and and uh, uh, um, really are going for the truth, and it could cost anything. Of course, it's not. In this case, it is also about the, the young boy. He is prepared to 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 give his life for this young kid. So, so. The, 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 the other thing that comes across to me as well is it seems like a story of redemption yeah. for Eric. Yeah. Um, is it, was that the, the case? Is absolutely. that how you felt? Yeah, that, absolutely. For me it is. Uh, um, um, it's about his brother from the first film. He's carrying these terrible memories. Uh, did he, could he stop the, kill, the, the death of his brother or not? And uh, yeah, so this is, to to don't, don't not do the same thing with the, this young boy. It's uh, it's the thing for him. When you were working with the director, how did you did you have a lot of creative input yourself? Because obviously you've played this part before, and you obviously worked with the director before as well yeah, in the yeah. in the original story. So were you permitted to have creative input, and how uh, he absolutely. he evolved? Yeah, absolutely. And as I said, you know, Överkalix is the place we sh shot this movie, and it's a small village with three thousand people, I think. There's nothing else, so much to do than to fish or hunt. But in our case, we worked a lot with the, with the film. As I told you, Peter and me was working and did small changing all the time to get this right balance between these two uh, main characters. And how was the working relationship between yourself and and, and the other guy? Yeah, fantastic. And give and, give and take all all the time. And I think. Um, 
um, the director really enjoyed because we, we were setting, uh, sitting in the evenings and work and, and on the set the day, the day after, it, it was always small, small, small ideas. <laughs> The young guy that you're obviously, that you know, your relative that you're very protective over, he's yeah. a, obviously a very young actor. Yeah. So what was that like working with him and, and maybe helping him evolve as a performer? Yeah. It, it's actually it's the same. It, it, it's always the same to, to work. I use the same technique, but maybe, maybe you even more try to be more open to a young guy who doesn't done so much uh, to help, to help and, and because it's if you're working with Peter Stormare, you, you, you will get a lot, uh, and, and, and to get a lot, you have to give a lot. And it's the same principle for, to work with a young guy. And Ralph, what, what's been the, the biggest joy of returning back to this, to this film and playing this part? Uh, to get the character home. Yeah, that was the thing. Mm -hmm.